All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to rotate an object about another object or a point in space. Um, I was trying to do that the other day and I didn't see any other tutorial on it. So I figured maybe someone else wants to do the same thing and I will show you my method. All right, let's put some objects on the work plane. Let's start a little sphere there and we'll put a sphere on and raise it up. Let's make it a little bigger and we'll make it yellow. All right. Now, one thing I'm going to show just really quick let's put another sphere down here. Just this is the principle we're going to be using. So, okay, here we have two objects. Now, anytime you select two objects, the rotation is always about the center of those two objects, the midpoint. Now, if it's three objects, it's the center of all three objects. So you can see each time you highlight, the center is always around that different axis. Okay? And that's the same thing we're going to do to rotate around an object. So we're going to use that principle. So the first thing we do is we want to select the object that we want to rotate around. All right? And then we're going to go up here, or you could use Control D or Command D on a Mac, um, and we're going to duplicate the object. Now we need to move the object to the middle of the object we want to rotate it around. So for us, that's the yellow sphere here. And I'm going to shift, click it, and select it so that both objects are selected. Now to move the blue ball to the middle of the sphere, we're going to use the Align tool. Now we don't want this Align tool because as you can see if we hover over one of the choices see how both the yellow and the blue ball move to the center. We don't want that. We want the yellow ball to stay exactly where it's at. That's when we're rotating around. So we're actually going to go over and click on the yellow ball and now we get the Align tool in reference to that ball. So we're going to be moving the blue ball to the middle of the yellow ball and we're going to select all three center points for each axis to move the blue ball to the exact middle of the yellow ball. Now a neat feature here is duplicate and if you noticed it was duplicate and repeat. So now when we duplicate it's going to repeat the exact steps we just did to move the blue ball there. So here we go. And there we go. Now the yellow ball is also selected which is, is no problem because it came with us. Now we'll zoom out a little bit. So now we moved the blue ball out here. And we just, we're just we going to select just the yellow sphere out here, the duplicate, and get rid of that. Uh, we're also just for the, just I, I like to set this to a hole because that's the one, I just know that's my opposite sphere to the one we want to rotate over here in the blue one. And for just a little cleanup, if you select around the sphere, you'll notice if the object you're rotating around is smaller, it's going to be inside the object you're rotating around. So you can see there's two shapes here selected. Now we're going to shift click the yellow sphere so that now only the blue sphere inside is selected. And then we're going to just delete it because we want to get rid of that. All right. And now the property I was talking about, we're going to select the hole and shift click the blue object. So we have two objects selected. Now, as you see, these two objects are exactly equidistant from the center of that sphere. So whenever we use the rotation tool, now we're rotating exactly around the center of that sphere, which is exactly what we're after. So you're just going to move wherever you want to rotate it to its position. And when you're done, you can just select the hole, and there you have it. We've just rotated one object around another. All right, let's try. Let's rotate an object around, or based on a, a, a point in space away from the object. All right, so let's zoom in just a little bit. Right. So we'll try it with a, a red square. Now what I usually do is put the ruler down. I try to get it kind of close. Now 
when you move the ruler, the two the two numbers here, the four and the five, are the ruler's position compared to the object, the red object that's selected. So we're gonna move the ruler so it, it goes to zero and zero. Okay. So now our object is selected and it's at zero zero in these ruler coordinates. Now if we want to move this object 70 units to the right, 30 units, you know, forward on the Y, and 20 units in the Z. What we're going to do first, just like the last one, is we duplicate the object, make a duplicate. Okay. Then we can move it. Now you could you could drag it. You could you know move it however you want. I, I usually choose to grab these. So this is how far it's going to go in the x direction. So I said 70x. Then we're going to choose the y of 30. And then over here is the z component, and we'll go up 20. So now we moved it to the, to the point that we want to rotate around. Now the really cool part is all those movements were captured and if we duplicate it again now we have a point that is equidistant away from the center block the exact point we want to rotate around and we can do the same exact method now since this block is selected we can turn that into our hole we can select the middle block because we don't need it anymore uh, get rid of the ruler and then same as before we have our two objects that can rotate perfectly around the point that we selected. And then you're done. You select your hole and you can get rid of it. And there it is. So that's the second way to do it. Now, you know, let's let's go back to the first one. You, you, you may or not want to do this, um, but just in case, we might as well, for completeness, do it just in case you have multiple objects. So let's put a few spheres down here, and we'll duplicate it a couple times. And just move them out. All right, let's move one up a little bit. And change some colors with a purple. Let's go with some green. All right. So now, I mean, it's the same thing. We're going to do the exact same thing as we're going to take these three objects, but we're going to treat them as one. So we're going to select these three objects that we want, want all want to rotate around our yellow sphere, and we're going to group them. Okay. Now, just like before, uh, the first step of all of them is we're going to go up and we're going to duplicate the object. And we're going to shift-click the sphere so we can align it. And again, we don't want to align it there. We want to align it to the sphere. And then we pick the center point for each axis. And now we can just duplicate again. And there it is. So let's get rid of that object. We don't need no sphere anymore. We can turn this into our hole. And then we can shift click our other object. So now there we go. Once again, we have the same thing where we can rotate around our object. Now here when we're done, we're going to select our hole. We're going to remove it. And we're going to select the other object and now we need to ungroup it. And there you go. That is how you would move multiple objects around an object. All right. Hope this helps.